Google Maps is constantly adding new features. And you know what? It's been a minute since I've shared what I think are the best Google Maps settings. So these are the best Google Maps settings that everyone should be using. Hey friends, I'm Tasia Custody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel where I share tech tips, app reviews, and a borderline unhealthy amount of Google content. And with that said, today I am sharing the best Google map settings that are sure to make your life easier. So are you ready? Then let's go. There are a ton of things you can do in Google Maps besides basic navigation that you may not even know about. And before we get started, it's important to note that some of these settings can be achieved both in the Google Maps web app as well as Google Maps mobile, obviously. So are you ready to get started? Then let's get exploring. First up, get familiar with your route options. This is a web and mobile app tip that's found in your navigation settings. On the web, pull up your directions first, and then go ahead and click on options in order to set additional route options. So you can avoid highways and toll roads and ferries. Now, on mobile, just tap on your profile icon and then select settings, then navigation. Scroll down here and under route options, you're going to have the same options that you had on web to avoid tools and such. But cooler yet on mobile, you can also adjust your map display to show speed limits and or keep north facing up on the map. Now you may have noticed a parking option in the navigation settings as well. So if you wanna learn how to save a parking spot in Google Maps, you can click up here or head to the link in the description below where I cover that and things like how to travel back in time in Google Maps or how to hail a ride directly from Google Maps. Just head on over to that link once you're done here. But moving on to number two on the list, customize your public transit options. This is really handy when commuting in the big city and once again can be done on both the web and mobile apps. With your destination entered on the web, this time hit the train icon for transit and once again, go ahead and hit options. Now here you can decide what transport you prefer and the best route options for you. Now, of course, the same can be done on mobile. So it's the exact same steps. After you've entered your destination, tap the train and then tap on options. And voila, you can customize your transit experience right from here. But wait, there are bonus transit options found right on your mobile app too. You won't even believe some of these features. Okay, let's take a look. If you tap on one of these transit route options, you'll be able to see information like how busy that line is at that time. Plus you can add information for other users on whether or not it's crowded, what the accessibility is like, how the temperature is and so much more. It's pretty neat. Plus, Google Maps is rolling out an all new feature that is going to tell you which train cars are the least crowded. I know. That's right. This feature is rolling out now and it'll be found right in this same section here. So here, let me pull up a little screenshot of this actually from an article so you can get an idea of what it looks like when it rolls out to everyone. This is so helpful, especially if you're trying to avoid people during COVID and you just wanna be alone in that train car. How neat is that? Number three on the list, add multiple stops. And wouldn't you know, once again, you can do this both on the web and mobile. Simply enter in the directions to the first stop that you need. And on web, just hit plus underneath to add another destination. And you can even drag the stops here to reorder them. Just drag and drop. Now on mobile, you'll tap the three dot menu icon beside the search bar here at the top and select add stop. And here you can also drag and drop just like we did on web. Just hold on that stop and then drag it to the order you prefer and drop it in place. And coming in at number four, set a reminder to leave. Ooh, I love this one. Never be late again. So on mobile, enter in your route and then tap the three dot menu icon and select set reminder to leave. 
Now here you can select when you want to leave and or when you'd like to arrive by. So let's say I want to arrive by 4 p.m. Just select that and then tap set reminder. Now Google Maps will automatically send you a notification to leave by a certain time to ensure your on-time arrival. Pretty neat. Okay, number five on the list is one I have talked about many times before, but it bears repeating. Download maps for offline use. Yes, still one of my favorite all-time Google Maps features. So, there are a couple of ways to do this, but I like to enter in the name of the city that I'm going to be traveling to. And then here, underneath the map, scroll left and just tap on download. Now Maps is gonna tell you how much space this will take up and then you can just tap download again to be able to use this map offline. And again, if you want a full video on how to download Google Maps for offline navigation, you can click up here or via the link in the description below. And if you're liking this video, please remember to give this video a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content just like this. I would really appreciate it. Okay, now on to Google Maps setting number six, change the vehicle icon. Okay, I know it's a silly one, but it's still so cute. So here we are on mobile and we've got our directions already started. If you tap on the blue arrow, you'll be able to choose a vehicle icon from a few different options here along the bottom. Just tap to select, it's that easy. Okay, number seven on the list is to learn more about a business. Now this is a great hidden accessibility feature. On the web, you can search for a business and then click on the icon in order to bring up some information about it. But if you click on this little arrow here on the left hand panel, you'll bring up the full about section of the business where you can see some more health and safety measures. But also if you scroll down further, you can get a glimpse of their accessibility features like whether it's wheelchair accessible and so on. And luckily, the same can be done on mobile. So you're gonna simply search for the business and then just swipe up on the result. Now scroll left through the options underneath those images and tap on about. Here, we now have the same information we saw on the web and we can scroll down for all that accessibility info too. And coming in at number eight, share your location with multiple people in real time. Yes, you can do that too. So from the Maps app, tap on your profile icon in the top right and then tap location sharing. Tap share location and then you'll have the option to share for a set amount of time or until you manually turn it off. Your location can be shared in multiple ways like with contacts, via messages, emails, WhatsApp, and more. Now, if you share with a friend that you're meeting, they'll be able to see your location and then share theirs as well. So you both can see where each other are on a map. Plus, whoever you're sharing with is going to be able to see how much battery you have left, which is really helpful if you're running low on juice. Okay, we are so close now, I promise. Coming in at number nine on the list is to pause your location history. Yes, if you wanna take a little break from Google Maps tracking wherever you've been and you don't want them to keep a tab on you, then this is for you. Once again on mobile, let's tap our profile icon in the top right and then select your data in Maps. Now just tap underneath here where it says location history and here you can simply toggle off the location history option and Google is going to ask you if you wanna pause this, which you can do by tapping pause in the bottom right. Now, alternatively, if we head back, so we'll cancel that, you could also enable the auto delete option as well, where you'll be able to decide when you'd like Google to auto delete your activity. And last but not least, rounding out our top 10 of the best Google Maps settings is enable incognito mode. That's right, the same exact thing you can do on Chrome, you can do in Google Maps too. Here's how. So if you don't wanna go through the hassle of turning off your location history, you can enable incognito mode for specific searches. 
So from mobile, tap your profile icon again, and this time tap turn on incognito mode. With this enabled, Google Maps won't save your search history or update your location history. And you're gonna know that incognito mode is on because your profile picture in the top right has now changed to that incognito mode symbol with the hat and little glasses. And then you can just tap on that again to turn off incognito mode. So remember, this is just a top 10 list of the best Google Maps settings. There are a ton of other great ones that you can watch all via the links in the description below. So those are my picks for the best Google Maps settings. And now I wanna hear from you. What are your favorite Google Maps settings and why? Let everyone know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, well, I wanna know. So give it a like, a share, or leave that comment below. You can click right about here to subscribe to my channel and here and here for even more Google Maps content. You know you wanna. Thanks for watching. See you next time.